all formed up, leveled, it's got an uh, inch and a half of slope coming off this way, and then we're going to just ramp it up a little bit around the well casing, so that way nothing will, no surface water will run into the well. And then also no, no water will stand on this concrete. I kept the water outside of the concrete just in case something happens with that pipe, I can access it and fix it. And uh, I got the disconnect 240 50 amp uh, run down here. The disconnect hooked up the three phase um, VFD drive for the motor. I got to do my job here. All right, we're getting there. My job is mix the concrete. I got our last load mixing up right now. Richard's doing the finishing. Check on this mix. Pretty good. Got a little extra. Don't think I'll use this. So it's turned out sweet. All right, about one o'clock. All done. Richard uh, just leaving right now and he's always helped me out with a lot of stuff I mean, we're making a, a trade deal he needs some brakes and I need some concrete so turned out good I think looks sweet it's clean nice edge finish a little brushing um, I did power up the um, controller just for a test it's working good so right now what I'm doing is I'm just going to grab the tractor and I'm going to start just scraping a little dirt, cleaning this up, and I'm going to pile the dirt up right here so that way I don't have a full exposed edge. I'm going to kind of taper the dirt up to it and then I'm starting to move the gravel back over. I had cleared all that gravel to uh, run the pipe so basically that pipe goes down um, two feet and comes over and tees and under this uh, waterway is the main so I'm teed into the main already um, so looking good um, just a little little finish work and stuff to do already concrete day is over it's probably it looks like maybe three o'clock um, so did pretty good super happy with how it turned out i just pulled the forms maybe a little premature to pull the forms but it's hardened up enough where i wanted to pull them and i wanted to kind of pack the dirt up against it so this is pretty much the finished product there's the that's a 60 amp disconnect but it's really only got 50 amp uh, breaker up on the top uh loops in powers up this um variable frequency drive that's going to change it over to three phase and do all the controls of the pump and then I'm going to take um, right here that liquid tight and um, bring the liquid tight down and then there this cap will get cut off and a, um, a uh, well seal will be installed and then the wires will run into the top of the well seal and you know to pump depth 240 feet and then here is the main so I'm literally going to bring that up do a 90 this is the uh, tank um, T that I got so it's going to take a pressure transducer right here and that's what's in the little baggie right there and then a gauge and a disconnect and a check valve and a pressure relief valve and I'm just going to put a hose bib um, so I can you know I guess I'd have access to hose but also I could use that to drain back the system and then this tank unfortunately was no good I got a super deal on it but junk is so let me get another tank so the tank will stand there with the T coming this way and then the pipe this way into the main and that main tucks under two feet boom in we'll feed the new building travel back this way feed our existing house it's gonna be sweet so 
main big thing though today was really getting the concrete dialed now tomorrow or in another few days I'll, uh, I'll probably progress the plumbing a little more but I won't be able to hook this up until the pump is has arrived but that pump is a three month back order and I'm about a month into that wait time so potentially still two, two stinking months out um, but be sweet